Today we're looking at solving rational functions. Rational basically means we're talking about fractions that are going to have x's in the denominator at least, maybe in more places than that. So in this example, or pretty much with all of them, uh, we want to get rid of the denominators. The denominators cause trouble. Uh, they make things harder, so let's get rid of them. And we need to multiply by the common denominator. Well, this one, there's only one denominator, so that's pretty simple to see that the common denominator is x. So I multiply every piece, and make sure you do it for every piece, by x. So that gives me x squared. Here the x is canceled, leaving just 6. And over on this side I get x. Now I have two x, two variables of x but they're in different powers. So this tells us we're going to need a factor. So I'm going to subtract the x over and then set it equal to 0 because we subtracted x so that's equal 0 on the right now. And then we need a factor. So we need things that will multiply to be 6 and add up to negative 1. Uh, so we need a negative 3 and a positive 2. And if you set each of those equal to 0 you get x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. And you should go ahead and double check. You can plug those back in the original and it works out okay. Um, in this one that's no problem, but just a good idea to go back and check and make sure nothing you get makes the denominator equal 0. Next up, we have 2 over x plus 1 equals 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. Again, we need to multiply by the common denominator. Well, the denominator shows up twice, but it is the same number, or same denominator both times. So we multiply everything by x plus 1. Make sure you multiply every piece by it. Here, they just cancel out, leaving 2. Uh, 1 times x plus 1 is just x plus 1. Here, they cancel out, leaving just the 1. And this is very simple, because 1 minus 1 is 0, so it just leaves the x on this side, and we have our answer. Again, double check. Go back and put it in the original. Make sure it doesn't create any problems with 0 going in the denominator, which this does not, so it's good.